Hello everyone, in this video I want to teach you how to crochet the virus poncho. It is very simple and we're going to be working from the collar all the way down. And you can make this poncho as large as you like. It's going to start with the same number of stitches for around the neck and then you're just going to be growing just like with the virus shawl and the virus blanket. We're going to be working, of course, in repeats of four rows. Um, and I will explain each row as we go. For starters, I just want to talk a little bit about your yarn choices. I really find that for this particular uh, project, the lighter weight yarns work a little bit better. For this pink um, poncho, I used this Lion Bran ice cream yarn and this is in strawberry. It's really, really pretty, and I just love how it works up. I also made this red one, um, but this is in a worsted weight uh, red heart yarn, and actually these two yarns are considered the same weight, but I find them to be very different. This is much thicker, and this is much more delicate, and I found the more delicate yarn works up better for this particular project. I really highly recommend, if you like using this Red Heart um, Unforgettable, this poncho would be really pretty in this particular yarn. For video purposes, I'm just going to be using this Baby Weight, which is very similar in weight to the ice cream yarn. This is just a Bernat um, Baby Weight yarn. Today I'm going to be using my G 4.25 millimeter crochet hook for the Baby Weight Bernat yarn in the blue. I really found that it worked very well for the ice cream yarn, which is that strawberry, that pink uh, poncho that I made. I used an H um, 5.00 millimeter crochet hook for the red poncho, but I'm going to be having all of the detailed information on the two ponchos that I did make on my blog. You're also going to see other pictures and me wearing the ponchos, etc. A pair of scissors and a yarn needle for sewing in ends is very handy. To begin, we're going to make a slip knot. Wrap the tail of your yarn around your fingers twice. Grab the back loop and pull it forwards. And grab the what is now the back loop and pull it all the way off your fingers. And this creates a slip knot. Grab your crochet hook and chain 108. To chain, you're going to yarn over and pull through that loop from your knot, and you're just going to keep doing that until you have 108. The yarn on your hook, of course, does not count as a chain. After you've chained 108, which I've done right here, you are going to slip stitch to the very first chain you made to create a ring. So I'm just going to grab my tail here and I'm going to just slip stitch. You're going to now chain up one and half double crochet all the way around. To half double crochet, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the first stitch, of course. Grab your yarn and pull up a loop. You now have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook. And you're going to do that in every single stitch all the way around. And I will see you for the next row. Once you've half double crocheted 108, you're going to slip stitch to your first stitch. Grab your yarn and pull it through and through for the slip stitch. Now to create the collar, it's a front post half double crochet, back post half double crochet. And for this pink collar, I went for 20 rows doing that. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. And you can make your collar either longer or shorter, however is most comfortable for you. To begin, you're going to chain up two. And you're going to yarn over. And we're going to grab this very first post right here. We're going to do a front post half double crochet. And you're just going to grab 
the post like that. You can see it right there, it's the upright. So I'm going to go to the front of my work like this. I'm going to insert my hook like so. Grab my yarn, pull up a loop. Of course I have my three loops for my half double crochet. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. Now for the back post, we're going to do something similar, but we're gonna go from the other side of the work. So we're going to yarn over and insert our hook with our hook on the back like this. You're going to grab that post, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Now we're gonna do the front. So doing the front post again, yarning over and pulling through all three loops. And you can already see the stitches to the front are sticking out in the front and the ones on the back are kind of laying in the back. So it creates this beautiful ribbing. You're going to continue in this fashion all the way around and I will see you for the next row. Once you've completed row two, you can just slip stitch to join. Chain up one or two, whichever is most comfortable. And you can just go into your next row by half double crocheting the front posts and back post, double crocheting your back post. So it creates that ribbing. I also wanted to tell you that if you are more comfortable in the double crochet with the front post half double crochet, go ahead and make this collar in double crochet. Now for video purposes, I'm just going to do my two rows and we're going to move right on to the virus um, stitch. I'm going to be repeating the four repeating rows twice. So I'm going to do eight rows with you guys. And after that, you can just continue because it's very simple. It just grows and it's um, a really easy pattern. Now once you have your collar to the desired length, you're going to slip stitch to join, of course, just like I did right here. And you're going to chain up five. One, two, three, four, five. This is the loopy row that we're going to begin. You go ahead and skip two stitches. So there's one, two, and you're going to single crochet into the third stitch. Now that is our first, this is going to be our corner. Now, let's see if I can get this. So your poncho is gonna have four corners. There's a one and two. I can get it untangled here. Three and the fourth is right over here, right there. So it's gonna be similar to the blanket. It's just gonna have, of course, your collar in the middle. You're going to chain three. This is a small loop. We're going to skip two stitches, just like we did, and single crochet into the next stitch. Chain three, one, two, three. Skip two stitches, single crochet into the next. We're going to do three small loops, or three, um, chain threes. So I'm just working on my third right here. Chain three, skip two stitches, single crochet into the next. Now we're going to do a large loop. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Skip two stitches, single crochet into the next. Now we're going to do the set of three um, chain threes again. So we're going to do three of those. One, two, three. Skipping two stitches, single crochet into the next. Chain three. And skipping two, single crocheting. And our last loop, last small loop here. Well, just for this set. Skipping two stitches and single crocheting into the next. Now we're gonna do a corner. A corner has two chain five loops. So I'm going right from that single crochet into a chain five. There's three, four, five. I'm skipping two stitches, single crocheting, 
and creating another large loop for my corner. So I'm going to do five. Chain five, skipping two stitches, single crocheting. So that is our second corner. We're going to, when we come back around, we're going to finish our first corner. So we're going to do that set of three small loops again. By chaining three, we're skipping two stitches, single crocheting. Chain three, skipping two stitches, single crocheting. Chaining three, skipping two, and single crocheting lastly. Next, we're going to do another side loop after our corner here. We're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Skipping two stitches and single crocheting. So we're going to have four corners, of course, and four side loops. So you're going to keep going in this fashion. We're going to chain three, skipping two stitches and single crocheting. Chain three skipping two, single crocheting. We're doing another set of chain threes. So there's that large loop. It's kind of hard to tell if you pull it out like this, but you can see that's a chain five. Then our chain threes. Now we're getting ready to do another corner. So we have a corner, a side space, a corner, then we're going to do another side space. So we're going to do a corner, which is two large loops, and I've got five, and I'm skipping two single crocheting, and doing my next large loop. So I'm doing five again, skipping two and single crocheting. Now we're going to do three small loops, and I'm going to skip two stitches here single crocheting. I apologize for that knot. It's kind of hard to see. And my second chain three. And my third. Now we're going to do another side space. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Skipping two. And now another set of three of chain threes. Three chain threes. And our last corner here. We've got one, two, three, four, five. Our last full corner, I should say, because we're going to complete the first corner when we get there. So I have five, two, chain five loops, skipping two and single crocheting. Now chain three and three of those. There's two and three. And I'm going to do my last side space. One, two, three, four, five. Skipping two stitches, single crocheting. And we're going to do three more chain threes. There's one, two, and three. And then we're going to complete this corner by chaining five. One, two, three, four, five. Go ahead and single crochet right to the base of that beginning chain. You could single crochet or slip stitch. I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch, I guess. And then to begin round two, I'm going to slip stitch right into that very first chain five. We're going to chain up three to begin our double crochet. 
Now we're going to place 10 double crochet into each of our chain five loops, okay? So that's gonna be all the way around. Now we're just gonna double check and make sure that we've got our four corners here. So I have one, two, three, and four. Okay, so we're, this chain three at the beginning is gonna count as our first double crochet. So we're going to double crochet nine into this first ring. So yarn over, insert your hook into the ring, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through the first two loops, yarn over and pull through the second two loops for our first double crochet. And we're going to do eight more of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, like I said um, previously, there are only four repeating rows to the virus pattern. You're going to start always with your loopy row, and that's the row we just completed. Then you're going to have two double crochet rows, and this is our first one. Then we're gonna have another one, and then we're gonna have a double crochet, chain one, double crochet row. But we don't have to worry about that right now, we're just gonna do our first double crochet row. After you've completed the 10 double crochet, you're going to single crochet into this first uh, chain three space. Chain three, one, two, three. Single crochet into the next chain three space. Chain three again, one, two, three. And single crochet into your third chain three space. So looking at it, we have two chain threes on this round. You're gonna go right from that single crochet into a double crochet. We're going to double crochet 10 into this first side space. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Single crochet into your first chain three space. Chain three. Single crochet into your second chain three space. Chain three. Single crochet into your last chain three space. Go straight from that single crochet right into our, ten, our first 10 double crochet of this next corner. So we're gonna do 10 double crochet into this first chain five space. And I have six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And then your next, your second large loop here, you wanna put 10 more double crochet into that one because that is our, going to be our first complete corner. We're gonna finish this one when we come back around. So you wanna continue in this fashion that we've been doing all the way around, placing 10 double crochet into each of your large loops. And in between those large loops, you should have two small loops. I will see you for the next round. After you've completed your first double crochet row, you can slip stitch to the beginning chain. And we're going to start our second double crochet row. Chain three, one, two, three. This counts as our first double crochet, so that will be one. And then you're gonna double crochet into your next stitch. We're gonna do one double crochet in each of our previous double crochets. So we're gonna go ahead and place nine double crochet into this first corner. Now 
Then you're going to go right from that double crochet and single crochet into our first chain three. This row is only going to have one chain three, so we're going to in between our arches here. So chain three and then single crochet into that second chain three. So that's what that's looking like, like that. Go right from that single crochet and ten double crochet over our um, side arch here. We have our side arch, single arch, and then we have our corners, which are double arches. I like this row because I don't have to worry about counting. I just just work in the double crochets from the previous row. And then right, we're here at our spacer. So we're going to go right from that double crochet into a single crochet. Chain three, single crochet into the next arch, or the next chain three there. And now we're going to double crochet 20. So you're gonna double crochet all the way across and then of course single crochet and chain three, single crochet, and you're gonna work all the way around in this fashion, and I will see you for the row four of the virus pattern. I've just completed row three, and I just wanted to address um, this curling a little bit. Uh, for some reason, this row always curls. So you just pull it out, and as your shawl, or as your poncho gets larger and larger, the um, arches will pull out and it's just gonna look beautiful. So of course at the end of this row we're going to slip stitch to our chain three and then we're going to begin the last row of the four repeat. So this next row is gonna be your double crochet, chain one, double crochet row. And we're not going to be chaining at all. So we're gonna be skipping right over this chain space. Chain four this time because it's going to be a chain three for the double crochet and chain one of course uh, in between your chain or your double crochets and then double crochet into your next chain one and double crochet chain one double crochet and we're going to do that in each of our double crochets this is probably my favorite row of these projects just because I'll double crochet and chain one. No counting. I find that a lot of these projects have so much counting it's kind of hard to watch TV or do what you want to do while you're crocheting. So the only difference between these arches is you're going to be double crocheting chain one for all of these arches but then in between the arches so over the chain three you're not going to be chaining one so you're going to go right from this double crochet into your next double crochet so that's pretty much the only thing to remember no chaining while you're skipping over those chain threes and then of course just chain one and more double crochet. So go ahead and do that all the way around. Of course you're gonna have your 20 double crochet um, for your corners. And I will see you for the first of our repeat rows. So I've just completed row four of our virus poncho and now we're going to begin our repeats. So we're going to start the loopy row again. Now this poncho will grow, of course, so the new arches are going to be right in the valleys of these arches. And then we're also going to be, on our corners, we're going to be having two more large uh, loops right up here. Okay, so let's begin. We need to uh, chain five. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to be skipping this first chain one space and single crocheting into our next. 
chain three, skipping a space, and single crocheting into the next. We're gonna do our second chain three, skipping a space, single crocheting. And one more, chain three, skip a space, and single crochet. Now here we are at the valley again. We're going to be doing a large loop, which see, that was our side loop, over each of these valleys. So we're gonna be adding two new side spaces. Chain five. We're going to skip one, two, three spaces. So if you count this center piece right here as a space, we're doing one, two, three, and single crocheting over here. Now doing our chain three again, skipping a space. So we're going to do a set of ch uh, three chain threes over each arch. So we have our first one. This is our second one. And our third one. Now here we are at another valley. So we're going to chain five. Skipping those three spaces. And that's what it's looking like so far. You can't hardly see those small loops. And we're going to do three chain threes right up this side of this corner here. And once you've done that, we're going to do two chain fives, because this is our corner. So I'm beginning the first one here, and I have chain five, skipping a space, and single crocheting. Now going to do another chain five, skipping a space, and single crocheting. So that's what that looks like right there. We've got our chain threes, chain fives, and go ahead and do three chain threes uh, all the way down the other side of this corner. And here we are at another valley, so you're gonna chain five. I'm gonna let you complete this row, and of course, when you get back over here, you're gonna do a chain five to finish, and then you're gonna slip stitch into that chain five space. I will see you in just a minute. Okay, I'm just finishing up my loopy row here, which is row five for us. And I just wanted to show you how this looks at the end. It looks like there's two spaces here, but we're gonna go ahead and just single crochet. We're gonna skip one space, single crochet into that one right next to the beginning chain five. Go ahead and slip stitch into that beginning chain five. And now we're going to begin our first double crochet row. Chain three, one, two, three. T uh, nine double crochet into this first chain five loop. So I have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, let's see, two, four, six, eight, nine, and I need one more. That chain at the beginning is our first double crochet. So here we are with our um, set of three chain threes, single crochet into your first one, chain three, single crochet into your second one, chain three, single crochet into your last one. Go right from that single crochet, and there's our valley space, which is a chain five, and we're going to double crochet 10 into that valley space. So we have three, I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go right from that double crochet 
into your next chain three space, single crochet, chain three, single crochet into your next chain three space, single crochet into your last chain three space. And there's another valley, which you're gonna do just like this one. Then, of course, you're going to complete your corner with two, uh, 10 double crochet into each of your chain five loops. And then, um, of course, these chain threes on this side, you'll just do just like we did with these. And I will see you for the next row. After completing row six, you're going to slip stitch to join. And that was our first double crochet row. We're gonna go ahead and move into our second double crochet row. So chain up three and double crochet one into each of your previous double crochet. We should have 20 double crochet in the corners and 10 double crochet on each of the side arches. Of course, this is our first corner, so we're only gonna have 10 double crochet. Here we are at our side um, space, of course, and our th two chain threes, single crochet into your first one, chain three, single crochet into your next one, and go right from that single crochet into your double crochet. I'm gonna go right into the side space, or the side arch. And as you see, because I had two valleys, I now have two arches. So go ahead and continue this row just like we did on row three, and I will see you for our last row. Slip stitch to complete row seven, and we're going to move on to row eight, which is our double crochet, chain one, double crochet row. And you're gonna be skipping over those chain threes. Okay, so go ahead and do your chain three, or chain four, I'm sorry. This is a chain four for row eight, of course, because um, you're gonna need that chain one in between. Chain one and double crochet. So I also highly recommend, if you're not gonna do a border on your poncho, that you finish with this round. Always finish with your double crochet, chain one, double crochet row. Even if you do do a border, it's really nice to complete the sets of four rows. So here we are at our valley going right from that double crochet into the next double crochet. No chain one. I'm going to leave you here, and always remember your next loopy row will be um, growing, so you're gonna have, in this next row here, you're going to have three new side spaces. Thank you again so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that like button, and subscribe if you haven't. I really enjoy creating these videos and um, reading everyone's comments. So have a wonderful crochet day and I will see you all next time. Bye.